In this demo, we're going to have a look at listing components and how to create a new listing component. Now, first thing is first, let's see what we mean by a listing component. So listing components can be things like a card list like this, which is just a simple list of items. It can be an item slider like this one, or it can even be a carousel like this one. In order to do that, first thing is we need to think about whether we should be cloning from an existing Sitecore component or not. So let's open up our content editor and go to my renderings and just open the experience accelerator components. Now we do have two components that might fit our needs. The first one is of course the linked list, which is ultimately a list of items that are read from a data source. The second one and more obvious one I would say would be the page list component because a page list is ultimately a component that reads a query and displays it. The problem with the page list is because it does not have a data source, it's not really personalizable. So you cannot create personalization rules around this component. And the problem with linked list, of course, is that it's not queryable. So you have to have the list of items as items within your component. So in this scenario, I decided to create an actually new component. I called it an item list. So I'll open up my content components. And if we see here, we I created an item list that has a controller of that's called an item list controller. This item list is actually again a clone from the linked list. So I cloned the linked list and then started editing in it. So let's get started. So the first thing, as I said, was to actually clone the item, uh, the linked list, and create an item list. So again, I'll go here to my content components, my item list. And as you can see, it has all the different items that are in a linked list. So it has an item list, an item, an item list folder, which are ultimately the linked list folder, the linked list and link. But what I've done here is I added this field, which is called read from children. And what this does is actually defines whether this component should read from the children or read through a query. And this is so that it can enable me to do things like go in and say, oh, I want this to be retrieved from my child items, or I want this to be retrieved from my actual uh, query that I've defined. So if we look at if we look at any of my items, so this is highlight carousel is one of these item lists. And as you can see, it says read from children. I can check it and then the source type can be children item using the same template siblings or any other query that I can define same way I did with the page list. The second thing that I wanted to show you here, just to show you why we did, went through that route, why didn't we just create uh, or use a page list, as I was saying, is that I want to be able to do personalization. So I want to have the flexibility to go into my component so my news item or my page list item, whichever component I want, let's say this item list, and actually define different personalization rules. So I can define different data sources for each one. So I can edit a rule and then create a new product list that might be, maybe I'm targeting different products for different uh, locations. So if I create a new one, Call it Products USA, for example. And I'll just edit the rule here and say where country. Equal to. And I'll choose the United States. So now I have either products in the USA or other countries, they will get different products. And then I'll just add my USA products because currently I don't have any. I just created it. So within my products list, I have products and products USA, as you can see, and I'll just actually copy from here.
and just to show you that they are this different I'm just gonna append the word USA on the title of each one of them And then I'll just preview my site, my home page. So I don't want to preview it, I want to open it in the experience editor. And then I'll just go to the mode and change the mode to explore. And I can just go here and change visitor information and choose a country and choose the United States. Click on apply. And there you have it. You can see that all the titles have changed to have USA appended to them. Okay, so for me to do this component or this controller, what I did was in my repository, I just change the get model. What I actually really did was I took the get model that the link list does and the page uh, list does and I combined them into one single component ultimately. So I filled the base property. Firstly, this repository is a list repository. It inherits from this repository, item, I list, I model repository and so on, our normal stuff. And then I have get items, which is the main function which what that does is it gets the data source dot items as a list of items and then selects these through a delegate now this code is actually again i just got this code from what sycor does i didn't create my own code i just did the check and then based on whether it's read from children or not i either assigned the variant list rendering model dot items as items or as get items. So what ultimately this means is if I'm not reading from children, then I should get the items that are being retrieved directly through this enumeration through the source type. If else, so it is reading from children, then I use the get items that has no overloads, which is from my list repository. And what this will do is it will actually get the items that are children to, my, uh, to me or, or my children within the data folder. And that's it. That's all you need to do to actually create this listing component.